Hi everybody here watching, my name is Phoenix and um, today I'm going to talk about the weather doo -doo 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 -doo. putting in some seemingly edited but totally obviously not edited piece of introduction music doo -doo 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 -doo. Because you know, you guys like your editing and you won't watch something just for its, uh, its content. It's all about the style in which it's presented. But I'm not about style that much, besides how I dress. Um, I'm more about the truth and the word and the content and getting it to you. So, what's up? What's up with the weather? Why has it been acting so strange? Alright, because I've been researching everything about everything that I can, including the weather, for uh, the last few years. And um, today even I was looking at the weather report here uh, in Australia for Perth and there was warnings of potential fires, high risk for fire. But at the same time there was also warnings of potential storms and pissing down with rain, which is what's, what's happening now, at least it's very strong winds. Uh, and I'm like, well what is it? Is it fire or is it, you know, fucking water? Is it going to start raining fire? I mean. How can you have both hot and cold at the same time? <laughs> Alright? Very strange. Very on-off. This winter, you know, it's, it's been literally half of the time. It's just been like the God has just had a tap. <coughs> they just turned it on, psh, turned it off. It'll be you know quiet and nothing for like 30 minutes. And then it'll start raining for 20 minutes. And it'll stop for 20 minutes. And it'll rain for 30 minutes. It's been very, very odd. Very odd. But it gets stranger than that. Because um, for those of you that do not know of the channel on YouTube called Secure Team 10, which I would urge you to check out, it's a great, reliable source of alternative news and information covering all of the strange, anomalous events occurring around the world. And this guy's not in it for the hype like some people are in this field. Uh, he even debunks some of his own videos once he clues on to the fact that, you know, there's, there's some un untruth there. So he's about the truth as well. And basically, typically I'll upload a few videos each day just showing some of the newest, weirdest things. And most of it is confirmed by news reports. So it's not conspiracy theory, super fringe stuff. Even though it is pretty strange, some of the things that that channel uh, will show you. But I urge you to check it out because it covers a range of things. From various technologies that are being developed and used. Um, for whatever reasons. To weather events. To things happening on other planets, to photos captured in space of strange bodies, to UFOs, which are increasing in sightings uh, on a daily basis, as there's a lot of videos flooding in constantly, um, as well as the strange weather. So, what other strange weather has there been besides it just been a little bit, you know, schizophrenic, on, off, rain, nothing, rain, nothing? Well, one thing that's been happening for the last couple of years. Um, especially the last year, <coughs> is the water receding away and not returning from people's shores. Um, the only video, the only place I remember this happening is Hawaii, but I know there is a range of uh, beaches, a range of shorelines that have receded. And I'm not just talking about your normal receding lines that happen. I'm talking about recessions to the point where the people that live there are like what the hell because overnight you've got 200 300 meters out worth of water where there are boats left in the sand and there are fucking whales and sea life just stranded on the beach like something just came and swallowed up the shoreline or something made it evaporate i don't know nobody knows it's been covered by the news if you check out security team on this and just look it up online um you know disappearing shorelines you will see exactly what i'm talking about and uh a recent video on security team shows about a week ago that there's two sinkholes that's another thing that's been happening sinkholes there was one in i believe indonesia that actually swallowed up a whole entire town that is right a small little town totally swallowed up and decimated by this ginormous sinkhole um and they've been appearing fucking left right and center all over the planet all right, I'm talking sinkholes that just go down, down, down. Okay, and there was a lagoon last week, and two sinkholes appeared inside this lagoon. And basically, there's no lagoon anymore because every single inch of water has drained away down these sinkholes. Okay, so you got very strange weather, even in the last 
24 hours in America, first time I've heard, they had a hailstorm. No, it's not the first time I've heard about hail, but hail being the size of baseballs, literally injuring people, literally denting cars and smashing through windows in a way unprecedented. Okay? And then you got videos on there showing, um, you know, from Antarctica, if you look on Google Earth, you find the Rothschild, which is an iceberg in Antarctica, like a section of the ice. There is this grid that you can see clearly just on the corner of the iceberg, off the, off, the, off the ice and in the water, there's a grid of these dots, perfectly placed dots in this square-like fashion in the grid. It's not a glitch in Google Earth because you can see the texture of the water, you can see everything, there's no glitchy business. Um, somebody actually spotted this and then noticed a week later using the Google imaging that shows you the temperatures of the earth and the spiraling winds and temperatures of everything, different colors. They noticed that there was anomalous, um, you know, distributions of energy, all right, and changes of heat temp uh, signatures radiating outward. And they lined up this video with that other video that was separate, the one that was posted before about the grid near Rothschild iceberg and Coincidentally enough, coincidentally enough, it lines up perfectly where, where these things are radiating from is exactly where that grid is placed. Okay? And a week after that, <coughs> what happens? Hurricane Harvey. Alright, Hurricane Harvey. All of this, all this was established and explored on this channel before Hurricane Harvey as being a bit suspicious. And then it happened. Where did it happen? at the exact line and focal point of where these energy distributions were being cast, okay? And then you got videos showing some weird kind of beams that are actually going through the hurricane. And then you notice as it pumps, you see this like boosh, like this glow of this beam of energy. And as you see it, you see these bits of the hurricane actually lighting up and then two smaller little swirls starting to develop within it. In a sense, it looks like that well, whatever was being done, something was acting to catalyze to increase the severity of a hurricane and you know for those that don't know there's actually a treaty signed in the 60s in antarctica between a few nations that and you know the antarctica would be used as a base for weather experimentation and weather control so it's no surprise if they've been doing it since the 60s and technology is at the point now it's exponentially developing. You know, we think we think we're pretty far ahead with our technology. People, we have no idea. We see the tip of the iceberg. Everything that's hidden from us below the waters of what's allowed to be, you know, put into our mind's eye. We have no idea the kind of technology that is available. But weather manipulation is not a far stretch. All right. We're seeing an increase in earthquakes in July this year. Over 11,000 earthquakes just in the month of July, all right, worldwide. And a lot of these tremors are being felt and they're looking at the graphs and it's showing that they're occurring around the ring of fire. That is right. Yellowstone seems to be acting up a bit because that's also connected to the ring of fire or near it. All right, so you're having a lot of things happening. You're having a lot of really high Richter scale uh, earthquakes. You're having hailstones the size of baseballs. You've even got birds falling dead from the sky by the numbers and animals and birds acting erratically. Okay? You've got <coughs> sections of trees, and I'm talking miles of trees, that, that are just totally like toothpicks snapped from their trunks. Like something has just whooshed through and bang and there's no objects found. There's, there's not like there's a meteor that's land and smashed through the section of forest. But there's this, these weird things happening around the world. No explanation. There's bodies found on the ocean of the floor. These massive two mile long fucking discs in radius moving and you can see the trails of it using Google imaging of these things moving around the ocean floor. There are strange sounds recorded from under the ground. There are strange noise, uh, even something running or moving at a rapid speed 
beneath the surface of America, and you've got the different states, and they're, they're different, the, the, the sensors they have for reading um, tremors and earthquakes, and they lined it up that at each state, in a linear sequence, in order from where they meet each other, you see that something has ran through at a very quick speed, setting off the measurements in each locale. All right, then you got footprints, or something of maybe a machine, two fucking, what is it, two, two, four kilometers, four kilometers underwater on the ocean floor in the Pacific Ocean, okay? And that's a recent discovery. They were looking there for mining, to set up mining uh, operations, and they found these weird footprints. They call, they're calling footprints. Um, nobody knows what that is, you know? Like I said, you got these weird sounds. You got smoke trails that look like what people call contrails. One video of Google Earth shows a clear smoke trail going from the North Pole to the South Pole. And there's no dissipation whatsoever. It's a clear smoke trail. People snapped pictures of this from the ground. And I'm talking, it's a pretty fucking thick. This wasn't a plane or nothing like that. This was something that was super quick, super huge, that you can visibly see from Google Images, not a glitch, you can see the detail, as well as from the phones of people that caught this phenomenon on the ground. You got weird clouds, strange clouds, taking the formation of clear cut squares and rings. You got weird vortices showing up in the, in, in the sky, which NASA alludes to as potentially being, um, what do you call it, portals. They got these weird vortices of spiraling energy and electricity, blips in the sky. There's a lot of weird, weird things happening. And you know, at the end of the day, it's fine if you don't really need to find out about all this. You don't really need to know and you, you're just of the opinion that, you know what? I can't control these things. So whatever happens is gonna happen. So why, why bother getting myself, you know, my knickies in or not about it? And getting all stressed out about it, I'll take it as it comes. All right, but at the same token, there might be those that also might be of the mind that, well, you know, if we're being subjected to something that is beyond our control, and we're going to potentially suffer a really damaging fate because of it, a destructive, you know, a fate of destruction. Um, then I would at least like to know what's happening and why before the waves come. Or before I get scorched. Alright? And all those that would like to just know the bigger picture before they before whatever happen is happening reaches climatic points. And it seems like it's reaching a climatic point. Some people want to keep their head in the sand and just keep doing their thing until whatever. And that's fine. But um for those that want to know more about what's happening, I urge you to check out Secure Team, very interesting channel, Secure Team 10. Um, and you know, also what I do daily is not just go through that one site. I look on Google and I look on YouTube and I type in the filter section. I type in today or this week and then I usually type in something like weather or sky and phenomena or weird. And you'll come up daily, you'll come up with a lot of recordings, different parts of the world showing you. Now this isn't just the occasional blah 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 and people put it down to there being more exposure because of the internet and that's why it seems like there's more happening. No. There are very strange, even statistically speaking, before cameras were available to everyone, statistically speaking, events happening at frequencies and severities, that is unprecedented. And you can see it. And I haven't even touched on the booms underground and the trumpets in the sky, of which there are literally hundreds of videos covering since 2010-11, all right? I haven't even talked about the weird sounds that no one can explain, and even the news has ventured to, to explore. And I won't, I won't do that, because you know, it's one of those things, you, you gotta look into it yourself, you're gonna have that burning question, that drive for the answers to have any meaning to you. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's your choice, the information's out there. It's well and truly, there's a wellspring of data and knowledge to be sought if you have the mind to seek it. All I'm doing now is just giving you an idea of some of the strange, <coughs> strange happenings around the world. And trust me, when you start looking into it further, you will realize 
that truth is stranger than fiction. Blessings to everyone out there. Whatever waves do come in terms of the fair tidings, reaping what we sow, whatever happens, God bless, may be carried to the fucking great beyond. And um, I wish you all the best in every single way possible. Love and light, people.